Well, hey everyone. My name's Scott. This is Nathan. And happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. <laughs> happy Memorial Day. Um, we are providing this video because there are a handful of holidays when we don't meet in person. Yeah. And today is one of those days. Mm -hmm. And so, um, as we are thankful for our country and yeah. all that God has blessed us with, yeah. we, we are not meeting in person, but we wanted to provide uh, this brief video um, as a substitute for our in-person meeting. Yes. yes. And we just wanted to take a few moments to consider self-reflection. And one of the reasons is because at the heart of Celebrate Recovery is doing a personal inventory. In fact, it's commonly called step four. Yeah. And in step four, we're really looking back at the past to understand how we act in the present to also um, make a decision about, and as much as it depends on us, mm -hmm. something just happened. No, it's okay, keep going. <laughs> uh, how it will affect our future. Yeah. So that's called in recovery language, that's called an inventory. Yeah. And so we wanted to have a conversation, a brief conversation about self reflection, personal inventory. And I think of what Jesus said in both in Matthew and in Luke. Okay. In Matthew twelve, thirty four, Luke six forty five. Jesus basically says it this way for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Mm -hmm. Translation, it's really important to know what's going on yeah. inside of us in our thinking mm -hmm. so that we understand better why we say what we say, why we respond the way we do, why we act the way we do. Yeah. And we can go through life and be largely unaware of those things. Right. Or we can do what Jesus is inviting us to do is be aware of what's in your heart because that determines what's coming out of your mouth. So that's self-reflection. And, and that's why we've done a lot of videos. It's why we're going through books because a lot of them, I'm trying to think, maybe all of them, we, we're yes. trying to do in a self-reflective way to help people grow. Just, just like CR, it, you know, the repetition of the principles and the steps are to to really solidify what's in the heart. We're just doing the videos in a different way as well. Uh, you know, new ways of thinking, some new concepts to think about. I mean, we are in, well, we'll be finishing up, the, what's the seven levels of intimacy. Yep. So really good book. We've done Dare to Lead, which is leadership, but it is leading yourself as well. Mm -hmm. and, and Brene Brown, of course, is definitely self-reflective. We've done emotional intelligence, which is knowing how to manage your relation or emotions yeah. for yourself and in relationship to. So all of these have to do with really trying to help, help people look inside because we respond with what's inside, right? That's, that, right? that's what the scripture is saying, which means if we want a great relationship with other people, even with God and ourself, we, we need to get to know what's on the inside, what's going on. Yeah. So I, I also think of Rick Warren's book that we've done. Yeah. That we took right. many sessions to go through, The Purpose Driven the Life. The Purpose Driven Life. Right. The whole premise is I'm aware that God has a very best version of me to use right. um, seven levels of intimacy language. Yeah. And I'm trying to, I have to reflect on what that is though. So, yeah. so self-awareness, we see yeah. that word again and that phrase again and again in our books, yeah. self-reflection. The scripture that came to mind for me when we were talking about self-reflection, it's just Paul's prayer for the people in Coloss. In Coloss. It's in chapter one, verse, um, I'll start off with, with verse halfway through nine we ask god to give you complete knowledge of his will and to give you spiritual wisdom and understanding then the way you live will always honor and please the lord mm -hmm. your lives will produce every kind of good fruit mm -hmm. all the while you will grow as you learn to know god better and better mm -hmm. and you know it does you know god god has hopes for us he wants us to live like full lives 
um, joyful lives, thriving lives. And that means that we have to look inside and see what's holding our, what are we holding ourselves back from the gift that, that God is trying to gift us. That's right. Well, I so. love that. You will grow. I mean, there's a lot. That's so loaded. You will grow. Mm -hmm. You will become more and more, um, hopefully, into the image of Christ. Uh, more and more who God created you to be. More and more the best version of yourself. Yeah, that's right. So, Well, um, one of the things that we do every other week at Celebrate Recovery is read what is commonly called the eight recovery principles. They come straight from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 5 in particular. And <clears throat> I'm going to read the principle. Yes. And then Nathan will read the verse that goes along with the principle. Yeah. So, principle number one, realize I'm not God. I admit that I am powerless to control my tendency to do the wrong thing and that my life is unmanageable. Happy are those who know they are spiritually poor. Matthew 5, 3. Principle 2. Earnestly believe that God exists, that I matter to Him, and that He has the power to help me recover. Happy are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Matthew 5, 4. Principle three, <clears throat> consciously choose to commit all my life and will to Christ's care and control. Happy are the meek, Matthew 5, 5. Principle four, openly examine and confess my faults to myself, mm -hmm. to God. By the way, this is a self-reflection. Yes. <laughs> to myself, to God, and to someone I trust. Happy are the pure in heart, Matthew 5, 8. Principle five, voluntarily submit to any and all changes God wants to make in my life and humbly ask him to remove my character defects. Happy are those whose greatest desire is to do what God requires, Matthew 5, 6. Principle six, evaluate all my relationships, offer forgiveness to those <clears throat> who have hurt me and make amends for harm I've done to others when possible, except when to do so would harm them or others. Happy are the merciful, Matthew 5, 7. Happy, <clears throat> happy are the peacemakers, Matthew 5, 9. Principle number seven, reserve a daily time with God for self-examination, Bible reading, and prayer in order to know God and his will for my life and to gain the power to follow his will. And there's a lot of verses. Self-reflection, so right? Uh, yes, that's right. <laughs> And then that takes us to <clears throat> principle number eight, the last one. Yield myself to God to be used to bring this good news to others, both by my example and by my words. Happy are those who are persecuted because they do what God requires. Matthew 5.10. All right. Yeah. Well, we hope that you might spend a little bit of time watching perhaps one of our videos from yeah. the seven levels of intimacy. Mm -hmm. We hope you have a great day. A uh, great Memorial Day, a great time of remembering um, the many blessings that we have mm -hmm. and remembering that there's a God who loves you. He, you're created in his image and he definitely has a plan and a purpose yes. for you. And we would love to have you at Celebrate Recovery next Monday night or any Monday night. Yes, We meet here at Christ Community Church in Westchester at 7 o'clock. Thanks for joining us today. Blessings, guys, and uh, I believe we'll end with the serenity prayer. Yes, we will. And I will read that and invite you to pray this to yourself. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that you will make all things right if I surrender to your will so that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with you forever in the next. Amen.
Amen, guys. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys.